Now, Box 54 Legal Connect with attorney Katanga Wright. Hi, I'm Jackie Lynch. I'm here again today with Attorney Wright. How are you? I'm great, Jackie. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for being here and answering our questions, yeah, Katanga. thanks for having me. I'm excited. Yeah, well, this is a good one. Um, I think it happens quite frequently. All right, tell me about it. My neighbor's dog bit me in passing at the community park. What legal options do I have? Huh. Well, surprisingly, and most people probably don't know this, but your homeowners and renter's insurance policies will cover dog bites, even if they don't happen on your property. Really? I yes. had no idea. So the individual who was bitten can definitely make a claim against that neighbor's insurance policy, homeowners or renter's insurance. Usually those limits are anywhere from 100,000 to a million dollars. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. With respect to those types of damages, yeah. but you definitely can get recovery. So you wanna make sure that you get reasonable and proper treatment for the dog bite. Mm -hmm. Make sure it doesn't get infected or cause other problems. Right. But you definitely have a claim against the owner of that dog okay. and respect to their renters and homeowners insurance. That's interesting. I had another friend uh, myself that she, there was dogs in her neighborhood that came after her dog and she picked the dog up. And when she did that, the dogs attacked her and knocked her to the ground, she broke her hip. I mean, it's crazy. That happens more often than you think. Yeah, now obviously just because there's a dog bite doesn't necessarily mean there's negligence. You know, right. has the dog bitten before? Did the dog have vicious propensities is mm -hmm. what it's said in the law. Yeah. Uh, and so we look at some other factors. Has the dog bit other dogs that right. had other incidents? And all of those things in totality really lend itself to bringing up a stronger claim against that home, the dog owner. Right, and we do have leash laws here in our area. And so. that's a factor as well. If there was a violation of the leash law and that resulted in the dog bite because the dog got loose, right. that's definitely pointing to negligence with respect to that dog owner. Now, not every dog bite is gonna be mm -hmm. actionable, yeah. but you definitely wanna consult with a personal injury lawyer yeah. if you've been bitten by a dog so that you can evaluate whether or not there's a claim that you can present. Right, so just to be on the safe side, if you have a medical bill that's caused by a dog, you probably want to go ahead and get, Absolutely. get some advice. Yes, medical bill is critical because you need to have an injury, right? right. You know, so not all dog bites are going to be very, hurt, you know, dangerous, mm -hmm. but if you've gone to the doctor, gotten the injuries, mm -hmm. uh, and gotten treatment, absolutely speak to an attorney. Well, thank you again for being here with us. If you have a question for Katanga Wright, make sure you email us at legalconnect at wxx.com. Thank you.